I just wanted to do a quick video on how to replace a pillow block uh, bearing insert. If you're not familiar with them, it looks like it'll never fit. So, you look at your bearing insert, you look at your bearing, you're like, there's no way that's going to go in there. I can't press that in, I'll shatter a casting. The other side's the same. Little slots here, but it's not going to fit. Well, what you want to do is first off, make sure your bearing housing is a pillow block 204. This bearing fits housing 204 and following. And make sure your lock collar is off your bearing because it'll get in your way. If it's a greasable bearing and a greasable pillow block, here's your grease zerk and there's a grease groove right there. There's a corresponding grease groove here with a little hole in it. So that has to go in the same spot so the grease can go in. And then to take this little nub and put it in one of these two channels. Pop it in there and then just twist it. You might need to put you might have to put a bar through here and twist it down, maybe put it in a vise or have it bolted to whatever's going on. Yeah, I'd have to put it in a vise to get it to do it. But, uh, oh, and your, your lock ring race is off center, so you want to turn it so you get the most clearance on the top here, otherwise it might get in your way. Probably not, but turn it this way, and that's how you... You get the old ones out too, is the opposite. Let's see if I can get her in her device. There you go. They're self aligning, I mean, within reason, so as long as your shaft is straight, it'll straighten itself out. You want to indicate all of that and make sure, but. And then just put your, uh, your lock collar back on. Tighten the set screw up, and tap it over. And that is how you replace a pillow block bearing insert.